Karate, the martial art that ultimately refines certain abilities all human beings are born with. Karate first developed in Okinawa, a small island in the south of Japan. Since karate manifests the user's techniques through the use of bare hands alone, it's known as T, meaning hand, and it has become part of a long-established culture in the land of Okinawa. Today, many karate practitioners from around the world come to visit the birthplace of this martial art. What are these people seeking to find on their visits? Kevin Chaplin is from England. And Stefano Silly is from Italy. Today, a look at how they spend one summer. It is said that there are more than 60 million karate practitioners in 190 different countries and regions of the world. Depending on the school and group, karate varies in its style and rules. Modern competitive karate requires a winner and is all about defeating the opponent. All styles of modern karate originated from a traditional form of martial art still being practiced in Okinawa. Okinawan karate is not about defeating the opponent in front of us, but the opponent within ourselves. Currently, some 5,000 karate enthusiasts visit Okinawa annually. They come for one purpose, to learn the way of Okinawan karate. Here are some of these people. On this day, a seminar on traditional Okinawan karate is taking place for international practitioners of the sport. Sixty people have gathered from eight different countries, including India and Russia. Their main goal is to get personal coaching by local Okinawan instructors. They have various skill levels. Some are individual practitioners. Others are karate instructors who have brought along their own students as well. How do they feel about this experience? <laughs> I'm really happy today because I got so many punches, so many hits from him. I'm sorry time. Must come back to Okinawa. We can do sports for maybe mid-twenties, maybe thirties. But after that, you will have to come back to traditional karate to continue to train for many years to come. Самое главное, что человек, который нам сегодня преподавал, является настоящим мастером, как сказал Роман. И с ним не просто даже интересно тренироваться, а просто даже стоять рядом приятно. What is it about Okinawan karate that attracts them so much? Okinawa is an archipelago of around 160 small islands located 1,600 kilometers southwest of Japan's capital, Tokyo. Every year, great numbers of tourists visit these islands, surrounded as they are by beautiful coral reefs. For 450 years, up until the 19th century, Okinawa was an independent kingdom called Ryukyu. It cultivated its own culture by acquiring wealth through
through trade with China, Southeast Asia, Korea, and Japan. The word tea means hand in the local dialect, and it has a deep cultural meaning. Residents were traditionally not allowed to bear weapons, so they learned to fight with their bare hands and feet. Tea has since spread to mainland Japan as well as overseas. It was during the 20th century that it started being referred to as karate, meaning empty hand. Kevin Chaplin is 33 years old. He came to Japan from England in 2010 to learn Okinawan karate. His days are spent teaching English and practicing karate. Kevin first encountered the martial art when he was 12 years old. First sensei, he came to my school. I was a huge fan of martial arts movies. Um, he gave a demonstration. I was very impressed by his speed and timing and uh, accuracy of his movements. It's very dynamic. Uh, so, easy decision for me. I said, right, I have to do karate. I think my first focus was uh, having fun. I enjoyed it. Always look for someone stronger than me. Kevin was mesmerized by karate's refined style and the enjoyment of defeating an opponent. However, a certain experience would soon change his life. In 2007, Kevin spent time in Iraq and Afghanistan as a private military analyst. Wars are truly terrible um, you know, circumstance for people. And so learning about these kind of things when I returned back to the UK, uh, my worries seem very small in comparison. Um, my time seems so much more, more valuable. You know, I don't want to waste so much time. Um, and so yeah, I learned about what's important in life, and I learned to challenge myself. What do people fight for? And couldn't people live in peace without having to fight? Kevin felt that Okinawan karate could help him answer those questions. I wanted traditional um, self-defense focused martial arts. My image was that an older, more traditional martial art would be more true to, to the roots. Kevin quit his job and bought a one-way ticket to Japan. And after a short while, he encountered someone he came to admire as a mentor. He decided he would stay and keep training. Today is a day of training. Ken Yu Chinen is Kevin's sensei. He has taught Shorin Ryu, or Shorin School Karate, both in and outside of Japan for more than 40 years. He'll be turning 70 this year. For Kevin, Okinawan Karate was entirely different from what he had learned. One of the main differences is the way kata is taught. A 
Kata is a sequence of essential movements based on combat with an imaginary opponent. Defensive and offensive movements are routinely repeated, building physical memory until the body can execute them without thinking. In Okinawan karate, repetition of a kata is especially important. Of course, training with an opponent is also necessary. Here, Chinen explains how to defend against an opponent's blow. This is called uke, meaning to receive. Emphasizing uke is a defining feature of Okinawan karate. In English, the expression uke means to block, literally meaning to block or prevent an opponent's attack. <laughs> But the Japanese sense of the word is subtler. Receiving also means to catch or to accept. Blocking skills are not only about preventing the opponent's attack. The force received from the opponent's strike is redirected in the counterattack that follows. Receiving is the starting point for the counter-attack. The skill of receiving lies in reading the opponent's movements very swiftly. To block is one of the most difficult things in, in martial arts, full stop. It's much easier to attack. But to defend yourself is much, much more difficult. The reason why Okinawan karate never initiates attacks, but rather values receiving, is said to be rooted in history. Okinawa, since its days as the Ryukyu Kingdom, has been repeatedly under the sway and influence of China, Japan, and the United States. Ryukyu Karate practitioners in Okinawa were also influenced by the course of history. Shintoku Takara, master of Uechi Ryu, is now 85. When he was younger, he was taught a traditional Okinawan proverb that goes as follows. Okinawa was integrated into Japan and was the only part of the country to experience direct combat during World War II. It suffered devastating losses. 
100,000 people are believed to have died, a quarter of the local population. After the war, the islands were placed under American rule until 1972. During the occupation, American soldiers visited Takara, wanting to learn karate. Takara and other karate masters in Okinawa took them in because of their belief in karate. ジュディアルテ戦士したんで。これはもうこれとしてもうお互い戦争終わったか平和になったんだから。お互い空手というのはあの平和のものだということ。Eventually, the soldiers returned to America and continued to practice Okinawan karate there. They took every opportunity to invite teachers like Takara to the U.S. to help them with their training. And as a result of this collaboration, karate spread to the rest of the world. Drawn to traditional karate, practitioners from around the world train in Okinawa. Each year, their numbers keep growing. One place is especially popular among the karate crowd after hours. Karate practitioners from different countries often leave behind evidence of their visit on this wall. James Pankiewicz, the owner, originally came to Japan to study at a university in Osaka. He arrived in Okinawa in 2009. Back in England, he had trained in competitive karate, but his encounter with Okinawan karate has left him fascinated. James himself has met many karate lovers through his position as the sensei's interpreter. That's how he came up with the idea of the dojo bar. From the start, I always thought about the dojo bar as a meeting place. And, and really, you know, start new adventures, you know, through the, through the people that they meet in the dojo bar. Here is a man from Spain with his daughter, who is learning karate back home. Giving in to his daughter's wish, they decided to spend their summer holidays in Okinawa. So we were yesterday in the afternoon arriving here with no plan at all, right? So it was like, okay, she was saying that what we are going to do, I mean, I don't know, we, we just, um, let's 
try to find something there. I mean, it's a karate island, so we are going to find something for sure. With James' help, his daughter was invited to take a lesson in the homeland of karate. Karate is a connection. It connects people together. Yeah, so even if we don't speak the same language, if we train together, then we have a huge amount in common. You know, we, we sweat together, we experience you know, the hardships and the, the achievement. That's what makes us brothers and sisters. Right? This is where you, and then at next time, you need to get James to show you this card. Another man who's building a bridge between Okinawa and the world through his personal experience of karate is Miguel Daluz. He actively shares information online about Okinawan karate while also introducing dojos to foreign visitors who wish to take lessons. He contacts dojo masters directly. イタリア Another visitor is on his way from Italy. Again, it's training day for Kevin. Today's challenge is for Kevin to put into practice what he's learned so far. Two people pair up and compete against another pair by using their individual techniques. What's important in this training is to develop the correct use of uke by reading the opponent's attacks. Kevin is able to move swiftly and kick very high. But his uke is still weak. According to Chimen, if he were able to properly receive his opponent's attack, he should not ever have to back down. The fact that he is struck in the face is also proof that he's not able to receive. Training is now over. ケビン
それ自分の受けで相手が相手いくらでも受け,受けられる冷静さを保てるぐらいまで持っていかない大体組手で受けつやるのは難しいでもやらないと時間かかるけどこれが伝統からでだねああ受けはな何のためにあるかっていうことを彼はあんまり深く考えないと気持ちを変えた方が早い Kevin himself understands that he is hitting a brick wall. He's unsure what to do about it. The fellow from Italy should be arriving today. Miguel's first visit to Okinawa was also for the purpose of learning karate. That was 20 years ago. Hola. 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 How are you? Fine, good? fine, good, really good. Welcome to Okinawa. Never stay in Japan. Uh, Tokyo, never, never. Never, never. It's the first time. So, are you Japanese, okay? <laughs> Stefano Silly is 37 years old. He works as a chemist in Milan. He'll spend his long-awaited two-week summer vacation learning karate in Okinawa. Before anything else, Miguel always speaks about Japanese customs. Where do you study karate? Is it in a, in a sports center, uh, like a, a, a gym? Mm -hmm. Okinawa is uh, very much different because Okinawa is... Uh, uh, in Okinawa, a dojo is uh, usually in somebody's house. Mm -hmm. So it's Perfect. not a gym. Yeah. It's uh, the, the master's, yeah, so like a the master's ho home. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you, you have to act as if you were going in somebody's house, not in a sport gym. Mm -hmm. So you have to be respectful of, of course, the master, but also the, the place. So you don't, you don't come, yeah, hey, how are you? And you have to be respectful and quiet. And, and then no problem. It's, a it's like a family. Mm -hmm. Time wasted. His lessons will start tomorrow. Stefano is staying in Ginoan City. A quarter of the area is taken up by a U.S. military base. Why did Stefano think of coming to Okinawa in the first place? I try a little bit of competition. My impression is that uh, you use uh, the only few techniques very faster. I'm really interested in, in their origin. It was 13 years ago that Stefano started practicing karate. He was lured to the sport after watching a friend practicing karate. He was impressed by his friend's flashy style and strength. The dojo is on the second floor of the sensei's house. Hi. 
えー、っとあのステファノ・シリさん、えー、イタリアが玉吉先生、uh, Any word in Japanese? <laughs> Stefano seems to be very nervous. r e l a x e So, as this is Tamayo Sensei's dojo. 60 year old Uechi Ryu master Katsuji Tamayose will be coaching Stefano. The lesson begins with some stretching exercises. If the belt is a、uh... You can take off the belt to relax. Go s i n t o the g a r a g e which is a Bogoraga, it is a car to get to get a Jikan and Nayo. Totomate, Bokan, the Totomate, obviously, you can mate. The sensei's first words were entirely unexpected. Already, this seems like a different kind of karate from anything he's experienced before. And don't stress. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a kid. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a kid. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a kid. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a kid. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a kid. I'm not sure. <laughs> the first thing Stefano needs to do is to condition his hands and feet. Bones in various parts of the body will be worked on. <laughs> One distinguishing feature of Uechi Ryu is in the building of a strong body that can stand up to an opponent's blows. Bone hitting bone is the way they train. <laughs> Next, Stefano is handed a bat. With it, he'll strike his shins. There are two kinds of bats used in training. Beginners are given a hollow bat. Tamayose, the master, uses a bat with an iron core. Learning to put up with pain develops a strong body and a disciplined mind. His first day, Stefano will learn a basic kata of traditional karate. This important kata incorporates intricate techniques hidden in simple looking movements. It's called San Chin. One theory says the name originated from the idea of fighting against opponents coming from three different directions. This way of standing, firmly rooted on the ground, is called Sanchin Dachi, or the Sanchin stance. It's thought to be the most stable way of standing in battle. This kata requires neither jumping nor wide forward strides, very different from the kata Stefano had been practicing in Italy.
What did you think about the training? Simple movement and uh, conditioning, conditioning of uh, every part of, uh, of the body. Every part can be well trained and uh, every is a reason to, uh -huh. for, for a technique. It's every, every part of the body can become a weapon. So you yeah. don't need to make big moves, simple things. But if it's well conditioned, this is dangerous. Stefano heads off to try some Okinawan culinary specialties. Which number it is, Okinawan noodles? Okinawa soba. 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 Mm. Okay. Arigato gozaimasu. Good. At the first, yeah, I was uh, concentrated on, on the, the technique that uh, I, I know what I, I can do, but what uh, I can learn directly from uh, the sensei, just uh, to keep an open mind, an open uh, dialogue with the sensei. In his lessons, Stefano repeats Sanchin over and over again. However, repeating the kata is not the only training involved with Sanchin. There is another form of training that takes place while practicing the kata. Repeated thrusts and kicks are rained on every single part of the body. According to Tanayose, it's through training the body like steel in this way that one can draw closer to the essence of karate. <laughs> He says it's about avoiding combat by building a body so strong that it'll ward off an opponent's attacks. It's not just the body that is trained. Withstanding pain requires training one's mind to stay calm. Stefano goes to see a 300-year-old tree that managed to survive the war. It's like uh, this uh, tree is like uh, Sanjin Dash. It's very strongest, the stronger tree that I ever uh, see. He's beginning to get a sense of the spirit of Okinawan karate. The village of Ogimi in northern Okinawa. Kevin's teacher, Chinen, lives in this village, 
surrounded by mountains and forests. Konnichiwa. Kevin's been going through a difficult time, so Chinen has invited him over to his house for the day. She then gives Kevin a gardening assignment. こういう仕事をさせたらね、やっぱり底力を見るのと、それとその人の人体力をやるのと、こういうその地味なところから鍛えようという気持ちが芽生えるまではこういう修行というのが必要じゃないですかね。Chinen says that Kevin doesn't have enough motivation to train. It takes time to cultivate vegetables. The soil is tended to day after day until the seeds finally sprout. It's the same with humans. <laughs> After a day's worth of hard work, Kevin heads back to the dojo. That's when you really realize that you are your own worst enemy. Like doing one hour of the same thing repeatedly is, is really, really tough. There's no running away from it. There's no hiding. Just face each, each challenge uh, with a positive mindset. How does Uke truly work? How can he master it? Kevin is searching for answers. Kevin has taken his assignment seriously and has worked at finding his own way. Chinan <laughs> tells Kevin what his uke is lacking. <laughs> A heart that doesn't fear receives actively and has the strength to take it on. って出て前に出て受ける。武道の持つ、あり方そして、そのものがやっぱり前に進みながら受ける。受けをこう高めようとしたら、絶対攻撃も高めないといけない。受けそのものが攻撃力にもなるけど。
勝利一体だけど勝つことを目標にしてやる練習とでも,でも受けて負けないという練習とそれをあの極端に違います。Facing the opponent without running away, while also ending the battle without hurting the opponent. <coughs> That is the true spirit of Okinawan karate. <coughs> Today is Stefano's last day of his two week training in Okinawa. Day after day, for two full weeks, he's worked the basic kata into his body. On his last evening, a traditional Okinawan goodbye party is held for him. What does Stefano think about traditional Okinawan karate now that he's experienced it firsthand? I find the, the traditional karate, the sense that it's not for uh, showing or it's not for uh, seeing uh, a beautiful shape, but it's, uh, it's a, a self-defense technique. It's a strong uh, experience and uh, many, many elements to add in uh, my experience in Italy. One becomes strong through pure persistence and repetition. Having experienced the spirit of Okinawan karate, Stefano leaves for home, vowing to come back again. Kevin, to this day, continues to practice karate in Okinawa. Yeah, I learned the connection uh, of my techniques and my approach to my techniques to my, my lifestyle. My moves like to be a bit too spectacular, too big, too flashy, too much movement. It's important to be, uh, I think the Japanese word he used was jimi. Just ordinary, but good. So I need to focus on the ordinary, I'm not try and stand out uh, just to get everything done properly. A heart that never gives in, regardless of what opponent or challenge it faces. And even when combat becomes unavoidable, the heart will pursue peace without injuring the other. This is the true strength that dwells in Okinawan karate. Blocking skills are not only about preventing the opponent's attack. The force received from the opponent's strike is redirected in the counterattack that follows. Receiving is the starting point for the counterattack. The skill of receiving lies in reading the opponent's movements very swiftly. 
あの足が動いたら、うん、そ自分も開会スタートスタートする、はい、あの足が取れないわね。はいはいです。Okinawa, since its days as the Ryukyu Kingdom, has been repeatedly under the sway and influence of China, Japan, and the United States. Ryukyu is the country to build and to protect. The country is a small country. We are not going to win. We are 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 going to win. 耐える力のその武器となったのが武器だと思うんだけど、うん、そこの強さがこう空手にもその現れたんじゃないの Karate practitioners in Okinawa were also influenced by the course of history Shintoku Takara, master of Uechi Ryu, is now 85 When he was younger, he was taught a traditional Okinawan proverb that goes as follows. Day of training. Kevin's sensei. He has taught Shorin Ryu or Shorin School Karate both in and outside of Japan for more than 40 years. He'll be turning 70 this year. For Kevin, Okinawan karate was entirely different from what he had learned. One of the main differences is the way kata is taught. A kata is a sequence of essential movements based on combat with an imaginary opponent. Defensive and offensive movements are routinely repeated, building physical memory until the body can execute them without thinking. In Okinawan karate, repetition of a kata is especially important. Of course, training with an opponent is also necessary. Here, Chinan explains how to defend against an opponent's blow. This is called uke, meaning to receive. <laughs> Emphasizing uke is a defining feature of Okinawan karate. Uke was a daijin sarete, uke was a chikara haite to go to mo, so they mo, so no, can a bunka so no mono de, a pari jibunkara semenai. やっぱり受けが先になってそれで攻撃次が攻撃になって受け In English the expression 受け means to block literally meaning to block or prevent an opponent's attack <laughs> 
but the Japanese sense of the word is subtler. Receiving also means to catch or to accept. Karate, the martial art that ultimately refines certain abilities all human beings are born with. Karate first developed in Okinawa, a small island in the south of Japan. Since karate manifests the user's techniques through the use of bare hands alone, it's known as T, meaning hand, and it has become part of a long-established culture in the land of Okinawa. Today, many karate practitioners from around the world come to visit the birthplace of this martial art. What are these people seeking to find on their visits? Kevin Chaplin is from England. And Stefano Silly is from Italy. Today, a look at how they spend one summer. It is said that there are more than 60 million karate practitioners in 190 different countries and regions of the world. Depending on the school and group, karate varies in its style and rules. Modern competitive karate requires a winner and is all about defeating the opponent. All styles of modern karate originated from a traditional form of martial art still being practiced in Okinawa. Okinawan karate is not about defeating the opponent in front of us, but the opponent within ourselves. Currently, some 5,000 karate enthusiasts visit Okinawa annually. They come for one purpose, to learn the way of Okinawan karate. Here are some of these people. On this day, a seminar on traditional Okinawan karate is taking place for international practitioners of the sport. Sixty people have gathered from eight different countries, including India and Russia. Their main goal is to get personal coaching by local Okinawan instructors. They have various skill levels. Some are individual practitioners. Others are karate instructors who have brought along their own students as well. How do they feel about this experience? <laughs> I'm really happy today because I got so many punches, so many hits from him. I'm 30 time. Must come back to Okinawa. We can do sports for maybe mid-20s, maybe 30s. But after that, you will have to come back to traditional karate to continue to train for many years to come. The main thing that the guy who today является настоящим мастером, как сказал Роман. И с ним не просто даже интересно тренироваться, а просто даже стоять рядом приятно. What is it about Okinawan karate that attracts them so much? Okinawa is an archipelago of around 160 small islands located 1,600 kilometers southwest of Japan's capital, Tokyo. Every year, great numbers of tourists visit these islands, surrounded as they are by beautiful coral reefs. For 450 years, up until the 19th century, 
Okinawa was an independent kingdom called Ryukyu. It cultivated its own culture by acquiring wealth through trade with China, Southeast Asia, Korea, and Japan. The word tea means hand in the local dialect, and it has a deep cultural meaning. Residents were traditionally not allowed to bear weapons, so they learned to fight with their bare hands and feet. Tea has since spread to mainland Japan as well as overseas. It was during the 20th century that it started being referred to as karate, meaning empty hand. Kevin Chaplin is 33 years old. He came to Japan from England in 2010 to learn Okinawan karate. His days are spent teaching English and practicing karate. Kevin first encountered the martial art when he was 12 years old. First sensei, he came to my school. I was a huge fan of martial arts movies. Um, he gave a demonstration. I was very impressed by his speed and timing and uh, accuracy of his movements. It's very dynamic. Uh, so, it was easy decision for me. I said, right, I have to do karate. I think my first focus was uh, having fun. I enjoyed it. I always look for someone stronger than me. Kevin was mesmerized by karate's refined style and the enjoyment of defeating an opponent. However, a certain experience would soon change his life. In 2007, Kevin spent time in Iraq and Afghanistan as a private military analyst. Wars are truly terrible um, you know, circumstance for people. And so learning about these kind of things when I returned back to the UK, uh, my worries seem very small in comparison. Um, my time seems so much more, more valuable. You know, I don't want to waste so much time. Um, and so yeah, I learned about what's important in life, and I learned to challenge myself. What do people fight for? And couldn't people live in peace without having to fight? Kevin felt that Okinawan karate could help him answer those questions. I wanted traditional um, self-defense focused martial arts. My image was that an older, more traditional martial art would be more true to, to the roots. Kevin quit his job and bought a one-way ticket to Japan. And after a short while, he encountered someone he came to admire as a mentor. He decided he would stay and keep training. Today, 